So this is actually, and this is why I'm staying on top of this Cynthia thing. Um, this case really is important because QAnon in May of last year, the FBI determined that they were possible domestic terrorists. Uh, so with that being, the Cynthia Absig that started getting tied in with like Field McConnell, uh, Kirk Pendergrass, uh, uh, what is it, Pentagon Pedophile Task Force, um, which is completely imaginary, and now they've been kicked out. That's a whole other area as we start getting more into E-Claws and all of those assholes. But um, this arrest, which now actually Cynthia's arrest is getting a lot of attention, uh, like it's on Daily Beast, it's on a whole bunch of outlets now, uh, because this is the first arrest of some sort of conspiracy since QAnon was dubbed possible domestic terrorists by the FBI. So this is actually a super important case. It's a lot more important than just a crazy CPS mom went and tried to kidnap her kid uh, because she actually didn't even get to try. She's charged with conspiracy to kidnap. A lot of people have been questioning what she's charged with. She's charged with, uh, I believe it's second degree conspiracy to commit kidnapping. So a lot of people have been saying like, oh, you know, she, she didn't even do anything. Well, yes, she did. Her daughter uh, actually came forward and said that she was planning this. She did have a gun. Uh, there were strange men coming or staying with them that were armed security guards. Uh, one of which is believed to be Ryan Wilson. The Ryan named in the arrest warrant affidavit, which is in, I believe, the first article that I posted in the description. Ryan Wilson is tied up with Field McConnell. I believe he might even be in this video we're about to watch. Um, he was actually staying out there with them. He's named in the arrest affidavit. Uh, she was arrested in Killispell, Montana. And it was actually with two Killispell police officers and an agent of the FBI. So all around it was pretty serious. That arrest was for a warrant in Douglas County. It was actually done by, I believe, Parker Police Department for the conspiracy to uh, commit kidnapping. Now the full plan was, according to the daughter, that uh, Cynthia had gotten very deep into QAnon and different conspiracies. And that started spiraling out of control a bit. Uh, she wasn't leaving the house at all. And the only time she did leave was to go to these Q Anon meetings. So her daughter really said um, things were spiraling pretty quick and then they started making this plan to go kidnap her son back from the Foster family and they did have weapons to do this. Uh, there was at least one gun on her this Ryan Wilson that was there, uh, he was armed. There was, I believe, two other armed men staying at the house before that that the daughter didn't know. So, uh, this, all around these are pretty serious charges. It's not like what, uh, what's his name, James White from Northwest Liberty News makes it sound like, where she's in there converting meth heads and converting guards to believe her. This is a really serious case, not only because of the conspiracy to kidnap, but again, the first case that's actually trying to tie the QAnon group since uh, the FBI did declare them possible domestic terrorists. So this is actually going to be interesting to see how it plays out in court. So that is definitely one of the reasons that we're staying on this. But another thing, again, is this video. I did want to make sure that this video was out there. And so what we're going to do, just because they, like Field McConnell's people were going and reporting this, I imagine some of Cynthia's people were going and reporting this and making sure that it came down because she does sound a little bit crazy in there. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and play this up in the corner so that way any of you Field fans... Uh, any of the Cynthia supporters, once this goes on YouTube and all that, I don't think you're going to be able to report this and get it taken down. So, uh, sorry about the luck there. So, we're basically going to run through this video though, and then, like I said, I'm going to get back to this uh, Parchman, Mississippi stuff. But, let's go ahead and do this real quick.
as long as she promises me she'll be Agent Boozy. Okay, it looks like uh, maybe Sphincter Boy's mother um, is involved in another matter, so I'll give her three more. Now, just an FYI too, um, Cynthia claimed that her son was being uh, molested by the Step family. Um, that's why Field calls her, calls Cynthia, or calls her son Sphincter Boy. Uh, that kind of gives you an idea of where Field McConnell's head at, is at already. Uh, people, for some reason, actually believe this guy talks to the president. Um, he's told people that he talks directly to President Trump. Um, he's built up a very large and dangerous audience, which again is crazy. Another reason why we're staying on top of this. I believe his YouTube has somewhere uh, around 60,000 subscribers off the top of my head. He's built up a nice little group of people. Um, it, it's really quite insane. But, yeah, he actually claims that he speaks directly to President Trump. Um, and, yeah, I mean, this is just a bit of where Field McConnell's head is. Field is actually in jail at the moment. Uh, he's teamed up with Timothy Holmseth, who actually started this whole Pentagon Pedophile Task Force. Which, again, the Pentagon Pedophile Task Force doesn't actually exist. Like, anybody that hasn't watched a live before this or anything, and just in general, this is really hard to explain and not sound like a psychopath. So, please bear with me. I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> um, yeah, so Timothy Holmseth, he too talks with Trump. They claim that they're part of this Pentagon Pedophile Task Force. Um, th there is no Pentagon pedophile task force for a while. They claim that Kirk Pendergrass and Chris Hallett and E. Claus were part of it as well. Just recently they denounced them for leaving Field McConnell in jail because at the same time, Timothy Holmseth, which is basically the originator, him and Field McConnell are the originators of this supposed Pentagon, Pentagon pedophile task force. Um, basically, what happened there was a long time ago, uh, what is it, I believe it's Haley Cummings, uh, she was kidnapped, this little girl was kidnapped, Timothy Holmseth got in his head that she was kidnapped by this attorney, uh, attorney in Florida, uh, Kim Picasso, and he spent, like, the last decade harassing this woman, so... <laughs> Uh, one of the court documents that I posted on the last live, if you go back through this page, actually shows that Kim filed something like 320 uh, violations of his injunction against him in a year. So Timothy's nuts. He believes that Kim did this, and then Field started joining in. Uh, Tim's, Timothy's actually on the run right now because Kirk Pendergrass told him not to go to court for charges related to harassing this attorney that he claims kidnapped this kid. Um, I mean, man, this, I, this shit's, it's fucking crazy. Listening to myself try and explain this to you guys rationally sounds fucking crazy. So again, just bear with me. Um, yeah, so Timothy got charges for still harassing this woman. Uh, this attorney, Kim Picasso, and he ended up missing court by what what is said. I believe Kirk's actually denied it, but Kirk Pendergrass allegedly told him not to go to court. They were there auditing his court case, which, again, Chris Hallett and Kirk Pendergrass aren't auditing anything. They have no government power. I That's another group I don't understand why people are believing. So... Timothy's on the run right now, and Field is actually in jail. Remind you, the guy that claims that he talks to Trump and is working for Trump is currently in jail because he started harassing this Florida attorney with Timothy, Timothy Holmseth. And, yeah, I, I think that's about as much of a basic summary that I can give. Um, again, this... Shit's fucking crazy. So it's going to take a series of these videos and articles and shit to try 
and be able to place it together because you just you can't make this up and you can't explain this in in an hour you can't do it it's it's just too crazy um so <laughs> there we go with that and again with spinkter boy that's what he's talking about there he's making a reference to cynthia's son that he, she claims was molested in foster care 